Hey guys, welcome back to Real Videos. My name is Tom, and this is the Call of Cthulhu. We are back. Now, last episode, we stopped off and the old policeman decided to go for a walk that way. And uh, I yeah, just ask that you don't disturb anything. If Chief West found out about what we're doing, I'd be in serious trouble. Anyway, as I was saying, he decided to go for a walk, so we decided to follow him. Fingers crossed we don't die, because we are currently in the mansion. On uh, top of the hill, investigating the fire, you know, the dodgy circumstances. Now, guys, if you didn't see the previous episode, by all means, go check it out. And remember, why not subscribe to the channel, see if I've earned your like. Bit a big fat like on there would be much appreciated. Guys, as always, yeah, let's get it on. Right. Guys, where is this? Oh, what's this? An original edition of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Dated 1818. It's nice. quite a building, don't you think? Yeah. They know is. that the Hawkins were among the wealthiest families on the island. Really? Alright. Anything over here? Oh, here we go. Moby Dick, Melville's classic. The epic battle between man and whale. Mandatory reading for any whaler, I guess. Yep, yeah, you'd have to. If you work in a fishery industry, you have to uh, read that book. That's the rules, mate. I don't make the rules, but that is them rules. This place was falling apart long before the fire. Yes, it was. This place was falling apart long before the fire. Anything over here? Uh, that's a painting of a table and a chair. Oh, here we go. A book on the first inhabitants of the island. It seems they got here around the 14th century. Cool. A precise and very detailed treatise on the particulations of the human body compared to the animal world. The simplicity of its writing and vulgarization of its vocabulary make it accessible to of the to the profane. All right, it says view the character sheet. All right, we've got two skill points to spend. Okay. All right. Medicine and the cult skills can be improved by objects. Ma ba ba. <coughs> right, right. Let's see here. Psychology. Spot hidden and risk. Ah, oh, I think that one. Definitely. Yep. Spot hidden objects. So we definitely can do that. Now. We can go up there, but let's go speak to the old cop again. Love it. This piano is in disrepair. Looks like the Hawkins kept it more for decoration than for music. What do you know about Charles Hawkins' activities? Well, not much, to be honest. We all assumed the Hawkins lived on Charles's inheritance. So we're going upstairs. Oh, here we go. Put the light on. Gotta see what we can see. Whoop, whoop. I'll go to see what I can see. Oh, yeah. Book. Darkwater history. This place was settled back in 1692. 
by two families that seceded from the New England colonies. Well, there you go. Now you know. A book on hunting whales. The island's staple diet last century. Yeah. All right. Oh, here we go. You see, now if that's not a thumbnail, I do not know what is. Maybe about like that side? Yeah, like, no, actually. About there. I think that's a good one. There's something disturbing about this painting. Yeah, I think. Okay, is that all you're gonna say? 20,000 leagues under the sea. This is appropriate. Another story about the mysteries of the deep. That's an appropriate book for this area. Why are you collecting books for, mate? Okay, so we've looked up here. No, nothing there. Check all that out yet. What could Sarah have done to make this person threaten to call the police? As you know, I have always held you and your family in high respect. Unfortunately, I can no longer continue to close my eyes on the behavior of your wife. Last week, she again terrified my clientele. I know that she means no harm, but you should place her in the care of the Dr. Fuller. He all alone seems to be able to make her come to her senses. And these disturbances were to occur, believe me though, believe, believe me that, although it would feel like torture, I would be obliged to involve the police. Respectfully yours. Anton Wellard. Okay. I do like the lightning effect, that's quite cool. Okay. Locked. Yep. God dang it. Why can't I just pick that one? Locked. Yeah, okay. That's not a good sign. Oh. It's a bit dark in here. It's a kid's room. Not happy with this. This is geeky. This is freaky scary. The boys' room. Yeah, if that's a boys' room, I hate to say. It. Oh, here we go. Left trigger, right trigger. Now that's better. I can at least see. A child's fort. What threat was Simon protecting his world? Huh. <coughs> right, oh, book. Can I go around this way? Tom Sawyer. Mark Twain. Sarah must have read it to him before bed. All right. Sleeping pills. Strong for an 11 year old boy. What was wrong with this family? Yeah, right. Some craziness is happening here. And what the hell do we have here? What nightmarish vision could have inspired them? <laughs> Simon's troubles went beyond family problems. That kid saw something. Something terrified him. Anything else I'm not seeing? No. There's that bottle down there. It was in the vision, as we say. The vision. Uh, 
I'll get okay, this way. The key that opens the door to Sarah Hawkins' office was concealed. What will her room reveal about her? Yeah, really. Got up the cupboards. Where's the light switches? Why can't I get light switches? Barbiturates. Oh. Sarah Hawkins must have been extremely agitated resorting to such a treatment. Okay. A barbiturate prescription from a certain Dr. Fuller. Thomas Fuller. Riverside Institute, Darkwater, Massachusetts. Date 7-21-24. 75 megagrams of armobutyl sodium to be taken every six, every four to six hours as required. An attack becomes too violent. Add 25 meg of phenobarbital. Somebody in the comments down below, tell me how, what that, how you say that. Phenobarbital. Phenorobitrotol up the three times a day. Do not consume alcohol or any other medication during the period of treatment. Dr. Thomas Fuller, take to Darkwater General Store. That's a massive <coughs> dose. Wow, it is a massive Was dose. Sarah violent? Hey, hey. This padlock is too complicated for me. Oh, right. Okay. This door was locked, right? No, it ain't locked anymore. Bruh. That's some demonic crap right there, man. That is some demonic shit. Demonic. It is demonic. Alright, nothing over there. Oh, here we go. Sarah Hawkins' agent was getting worried. Seems she wasn't giving any signs of life. My very dear Sarah, ever since you left to bury yourself away on that lost island, your art has lost been attracting increasing numbers of collectors. I beg you to send me some new paintings. The last ones, so somber and strange, moving to other paintings have been are selling at a premium price. Your percentage of these most recent sales is attached. Do not forget your friend, who is the first to recognize your genius and display it to the world. Affectionately yours, Maximilian L. Yeah, let's profit off our misery, mate. This ledger lists all of the paintings Sarah Hawkins sold. Yeah, she was making some pennies, mate. What? It seems the last one was given for free to a Francis Sanders. Okay. I wonder why. Despite what happened, they seem to have loved each other. Charles Hawkins scribbled a hand word to his wife. Yeah, that's nice. Bruh, that's some scary stuff right there. The door is blocked on the other side. Okay. Was Sarah Hawkins interested in the occult? What was she trying to achieve? New occult element.
Huh. Interesting. Okay. We're still investigating the matter. Bradley? Is that you? <laughs> the hell was that? Wait a minute, that's dodgy looking, isn't it? Scar's going to the wall. Is anyone there? Cut sequence, look out. Well, maybe I don't have to use you on my bloody lighter anymore, and I've got a torch. Watch it get broken or get nicked. Okay. Bro. Am I imagining it thinking it looks like me? Thump. You! Stop! Bradley, did you see which way he went? Who? I didn't see anyone. I just heard some noise. Are you all right? A man was hiding on the upper level. He ran when he saw me. He can't be far. All right. <sighs> this door is blocked from the outside. The lyrics of the drunken sailor, a sea shanty. I'll cover you. Don't do much covering, mate. This door was clo closed earlier. That's where I came from. Where did he go? Must have got out some way. Oh, no, I... no, he was here. I'm sure. Let's search this room. They look like Celtic runes. Charles must have brought them back from one of his foreign trips. It looks like an old seaway map. Interesting. This globe seems to have been part of some mechanism. Yes, it does. Okay. Doesn't work. I must have missed something. Yeah. Seems like this came from a log. We sailed north all morning. 42 north, 70 west. Captain Hamilton is confident he says that we'll beat the Orpheus this season. May God be merciful. Sunday the 30th of May, 1847. 47 north, 55 west. I prefer it when the whales disappeared without trace. With these carcasses, we can no longer ignore their sad fate. This is eating at the huge beasts. What is eating at the huge beasts? I told Hamilton this was a bad omen. He doesn't care. 
Tuesday the 14th, Tuesday the 1st June 1847, 49 North, 61 West. We dropped anchor near a village. The inhabitants say that the waters are red with the blood of the sacred beast and to follow them to defy the gods. I told them that I only feared God Almighty, but in the loneliness of the hold, I'm scared. Friday the 4th, 1847, 57 North, 51 West, we have sighted a huge whale in the distance. Its size seems to be beyond anything known to man. It seems out of infernal song, Hamilton wants it. Wednesday 23rd, again, man have died, gained glory. Tuesday, dark water, we have beaten the Orpheus, returned to the empty, with empty holds. The Cecilia, our Hamilton, our only memories. There must be a link with the Seaway map. Yeah. As if the bookcase has been moved several times. So, I do something over here. That opens that. Alright, let me just check my details. Alright. Clues. So shoe. There is something there, I gotta figure out, but I'm not sure how though. Right. Hello. This Dr. Fuller, was he Sarah Hawkins' therapist? I understand your worries, but I assure you that Sarah is in good hands here at the Riverside Institute. Too scared. Excuse me, guys. It goes without saying that her state requires very specific care and high levels of attention. Her full potential will only be able to express itself as she's placed in a secure environment, surrounded by qualified staff. The decision is yours, of course, but I seem to understand that you are running out of time. Your friend, Thomas Fuller. There must be a link with the Seaway map. All right, 42, 47, 49. How do you set coordinates? 57 north, 51 west. Right, okay. Let's try this. 33 north, 53 west. 33 north. Oh, wait, wait. oh, there's numbers there. So 33 north. What was the other one? Doesn't work. There must be a link with the Seaway map. And 53 west. 53 west. 53. Doesn't work. I must have missed something. Alright. There must be a link with the Seaway map. But maybe 42 north, 70 west. 42 north, 70 west. Alright. 42 north. 42 north. 70 west. Forty two north. Hmm. Doesn't work. 
I must have, there must be a link with the sea. I don't even know if I'm doing this right, you know. Wait a minute. Wednesday. Thirty-three fifty-three. That's the only one that's boxed in according to the piece of paper. Alright, we've caught it. It's the most grotesque whale I've ever laid eyes on. It will go into the memory of the biggest catch ever. Men have died, we have gained glory. This day will celebrate years to come. Thirty-three north, fifty-three west. Thirty-three north. Alright, let's get that. Thirty-three north. Thirty-three north. Hi. <coughs> Thirty-three north. Doesn't work. There must be a link with the seaway map. And fifty-three west. Fifty-three west. Gotcha. Looks like it worked. Well done, Pierce. Oh yeah. Who the man? Nice, 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 nice. We did it, guys. We got in through the bookcase. Secret passage under the manor. It's like a detective novel. Yeah. That guy must have already gotten far. <coughs> yeah. And he had a direct means of entry to the crime scene. We must three seats. Look. Someone's been here recently. Did Charles Hawkins use this place? Who were the others? Interesting. What is this mask supposed to represent? A call of Cthulhu, that's what it represents. Whatever Charles Hawkins hid here, he didn't want it in his house. No, he did not. It's the mask. Gotta be. Well, I don't know if we have to call him the thief. Do we call him the thief? There's something in here then. Alright. Huh. What the hell is that? That is weird. All right. Interesting. Oh, here we go. This piece of cloth is unmistakably from a dress. Sarah Hawkins. Was she hiding from someone? She'll hide it from her dad. That's what it is. 
All right, let's go check out this guy. Whoever was sitting here could have seen Sarah Hawkins. Could this be related to her death? Makes me wonder. This padlock is too complicated for me. Oh, God's sake. Let's see, have we got any points? Four points. Right. Strength, equivalence, investigation, psychology, occultism, medicine. Probability influence those who are with speech, improves the skill, increases the chance of convincing you. Alright. Improve the skill in this area of forcing doors or mechanism or using violence. Ah. Medicine represents now occultism, knowledge of the occult, psychology, and knowledge of human behavior. Represents your ability to find hidden objects, improve the skill, and chance of finding hidden objects. We're not up here in the game. Uh, again. Oh. All right, let's carry on. Whoa. You coming, mate? And something tells me that the key is climbing these steps. There's tunnels all over this island. Given the size of this cave, there's got to be other entrances. Yep. The passage continues further down. Might as well start with that. Okay. I ain't gonna squeeze in there. I'll find another way. You if chicken. possible, I prefer not to ruin my uniform. Fine, fine. Go look for another entrance. I'll try my luck down below. Oh, cheeky, sneaky. All right, we're gonna go down. All right. This is freaky. Is it some form of dream catcher here? Some kind of dream catcher. Oh, he caught it. If I touch it, it'll turn to dust. He caught it. Tom caught it. Some kind of dream catcher. All right. If I touch it, it'll turn to dust. That's quite cool, underground. All right. These paintings must be several centuries old. Very cool. Dude, that's a Cthulhu. Cthulhu! Oh la 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 la! Cthulhu! Alright. You could have come this way, you policeman. You use the company, to be honest. Bro. 
This is quite cool. Alright, can't get out that way. So he came this way and went up the stairs, didn't he? Right, so we're running a lot of time here. Okay. Right. Alright. We'll go to the main cave. Underground tunnels. Okay. Right guys, I think we're going to go ahead and call it here. Thank you guys very much for come check out this episode of The Call of Cthulhu. And hopefully guys, you will join me to continue on the story to find out what the hell is going on in this island. I mean, Jesus, this is getting freaky. Anyway guys, as always, stay awesome. I will see you guys later. Bye bye now. Right, guys, as always, I am found on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch and Instagram. Guys, don't forget to check me out. And guys, if you want to see more content like this, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. See you guys later. Bye. Yeah.